Hi, so today let's talk about Piper and aborting. Sometimes people wonder what happens when you have a state machine like this that runs the whole program and you have all these different modules working with it. What happens if one of them has an error? If it's a really critical error we need to abort, as you can see from this PACML chart we have here, abort the way this graphic's showing that like any of these states can abort. The cool thing with Piper is we can have any one of those modules can say, I need us to abort, all of us. Piper will listen to that and then tell every module, hey, we're aborting. So our code is written so that there's, as you can see here for the servo manager task, there's defined behavior for aborting. We know we're going to go through a certain sequence of operations when we abort. In this case, we're using the same behavior for aborting and stopping. That just depends on your application. But basically, in this case, we're going to shut down the axes. So we're going to stop the moving, then we're going to depower them. Every module can define what it does for aborting. Any one of them can also ask, hey, we need to abort. And the way it does that is by this machine command abort. So you can see we're in idle currently. And if I set abort and I'm basically pretending to be any module that writes this command or the HMI that we go through aborting into aborted. Again, that means we have predictable behavior of what each task does when we abort, but they don't need to know about each other. Like you saw in our substate video, if you watch that, we can order these substates and control like what happens before what. So these can block and we can decide like this needs to happen, then this needs to happen. For servo stop, like that might, you might want that to be higher up because you want to stop soon. Here's a task that calls an abort. So one module triggering the whole system to abort, we go through a predictable set of behavior. The states in between those are blocking such that we can make sure something you know, cools down or whatever before something else happens. Power motors off, all those things happen in there in a way that we define. And they're not closely coupled. Each task can deal with just the parts it needs to deal with. And that modularity makes our software very flexible. If you found this useful, check out more of our tutorials on shipin6.team or find out more about what we do. Thanks for watching.